Alrighty, day two. So yesterday we got the OCP head on. So we can see here. Uh, stage three cam, OCP head, and we're doing a 42 taper bore carb. So you can see this real nice radius here compared to the stock where it's just kind of flat, you know, whatever. So um, really nice and bored out, would be pretty sweet. Uh, we went over the cams and the heads yesterday a little bit. Um, stay in stock intake boot on this 06. Yesterday this one made 45 horsepower on the dyno. Uh, bone stock with the HRC kit and cam. Uh, this one made 60 and a half. Uh, that's Racer's Edge head, RP throttle body, RP intake, uh, DAS pipe, 14 to 3 to 1, piston, and a cam, a webcam. So obviously that one had a lot more stuff done to it. Uh, so today, um, I'm going to finish putting the top end on. There we go. There's Jackson. Morning. Uh, one of these, what was it, a wrist pin that was giving us crap last night? Yeah, the wrist pin. The wrist pin in the big bore, Jeff had to really C-clip. So he had to file some down and make some magic work because he said it uh, could have scattered on the dyno if he would have <laughs> slapped it in there. So that was bad. Uh, so yeah, finish up today and then we got to line up some plastics. Make some big power on this TRX. Um, oh, what else we got to do? That's kind of it. Watch Supercross. Watch Supercross. Practice is actually undergoing right now for some reason for Supercross. So there we go. So we'll see. Valve cover, throttle body, make sure nothing's in the intake. <laughs> Stick a magnet in there and see. Um, I need to find my chain guide or chain uh, case saver too. <laughs> Timing chain and all that. There we go. That's what it looks like. All port. Just need to grind the Athena off of it. Sand her down. <sighs> Got this on, brand new piece here. Fill her up with some coolant. Get the carb on. We're getting close. Plastics are gonna be a bear. I gotta find, oh, I need to call in the seat too. I'm not an upholster or a mechanic, turns out. I will not quit my day job and join this world of <laughs> don't, don't mechanicking. Do it. Don't do it. It is fun, I do like this stuff. Something about watching professionals. You're using that term loosely. <clears throat> All this routing. cover on, check on the clutch fibers, check on the oil, oh we gotta do oil too. Okay. All right, so we're starting at 60 and a half and 35.8. Yeah. Just gonna do the same map and see how it handles first. I'll do some pulls for yeah. the seating. Oh, okay, Start got it. 
make sure the oil plug stays in. And did you already? Didn't he have to get different batteries? We're gonna see what we can do. Switch around. And yeah, because he doesn't have his plug. Uh, we changed the map yesterday. The MR12 map, and it added fuel, so it wasn't near as uh, lean. lean. But then it. I, I don't think there's really a downside to it other than that it pulls some timing. Theoretically. Maybe Theoretically. Maybe just switched it up. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So. So we'll see. But. She starts up. Sounds good. Get it all together. Let's see if the clutch cover... Doesn't leak. Check that last bolt just for safety. Oh. Yeah, I tell you about Justin, he was upset because he was leaking antifreeze. Oh. He thought it was coming out of the motor and they were he's like but these are tight I'm like dude did you check the clamp <laughs> it was the clamp he was questioning my building I'm which like, is oh, fair. That's bad because it's tight and if it was leaking i mean I, then yeah. something's warped yeah we put a mishimoto on his too big old radiator they're quite a bit thicker Mishimoto. Although Jeff doesn't like because it it's heavy, I'm sure. It's more weight. I have a Mishimoto on mine. Oh, okay. It looks cool. Sometimes I'll make exceptions. They're just, I thought it was pretty reasonable, like 180 bucks. Somehow. Should have shaved that Athena badge off, dude. I know. Told you. Still could. Shaved the what? The Athena badge. They don't know it's a big four. It's got the logo oh, on the yeah. cylinder. That's a job for dr the Dremel. Yeah. Carve <laughs> OCP inside. He used to hand carve them, the OCPs. I did that once or twice. I've seen a couple, yeah. It was a pain. <laughs> yeah. No, the CNC looks sweet now. Robots are way better at it. You know? Okay. Um, over. Probe in there, do some warm up, see how she does. I'm gonna get by it real quick. Oh. And then... What are we thinking? Did 60 and a half. Should have 75. Yeah, by my math. I like it. Instagram math. Well, Jeff has now put it back together, so that adds a couple. If we had some spicy fuel, it would probably do better. Guesses. Like 53 and 37. <laughs> um, I would think like it should be a safe three and three. Okay. Like that's you know a little sure. conservative compared to the displacement increase, but well, especially with the tuning being kind of an unknown. I just think that I think it might respond pretty nicely because those heads are really good at. So they're gonna flow so all that ported, extra. And yeah. I don't think it needs any more airflow for stop for it'll the big bubble 
Got it. Be interesting to see how it feels. So far, like, it's, it's too early to say, but yeah. I think the map might work out all right. The MR12 map? I mean, it'll be enough, I think, for a trip. And then I don't know if, if Jamie or somebody else that has access to the 10 maps, if we like send them the dyno file and say, here, map to this. Yeah, they can see what it's doing. Yeah. You gotta get Vortex to let you play with all the maps, not just one. I don't know why. It's weird. You gotta be somebody, I guess. I'm gonna do that and I go warm up, cycle on that one, let this one cool off, and then it's I'm done with that one. Go see if this one. It gets hot fast. Radiator. on this. Picked up like two horse and like three foot pounds of torque. Not bad. How much of torque? Like three, went from like 36 to almost 40, 39. But we'll see kind of compare the curves from previous to this one.
the before and after. That's the best from yesterday and the best so far today. So blues yesterday? Yeah. So it's really all the way up the face. So that's six horse. So the peak number didn't Didn't increase, really change that much. much. Six, five and a half in the middle. That's, that's going to be a lot. What about for torque? So the peak numbers, 35, 8, and then 38. So that's basically three. Yeah. But right here, 36 and 31, so there's five. So five, so five and five, basically. At 6,200. At 62. So all the way up the face, it's going to feel. Yeah, yeah. So you can just move this. And the air fuel look. Yeah, it actually looks better. Pretty good, I mean. Interesting how much richer it was down versus yesterday. It had just been hot going in too. Okay. Oh, it's just like 10%, 50%, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. At an eight, so it's a 21, eight inch rim, eight paddle. My default answer is 22, 11, eight, seven. 22, oh, so you go 22. I like the bigger rollout. Okay. Because I've got 21, whatever, With seven. Either of these tires, like, that wouldn't be something I'm like, you have to do. That's a good tire. Just, like, yeah. if you didn't have a tire. Well, I talked him into that, so. Yeah, if you didn't have a tire, <laughs> I'd say. You mean if I was on, like, sand stars? Yes. <laughs> but with that tire? Yeah. I wouldn't spend the money until you need to. What about geckos? How much would we lose? No, game. <laughs> All <laughs> 20 inch, 10 inch rim gecko. Yes. They slide though. That is fun on those tires. Yeah, these Drifting? No, these don't. These just, they freak out when you try and do that. Like, no, what are you? <laughs> it's like, uh, anyways. All right. So good tires. You go 22 though. Interesting. I really like the 74 rollout. You'll laugh, but when I first did my build, I bought some tires from a guy. He's like, yo, you gotta buy these. And it was a 22 9 paddle. And I just had a stock bore, like pipe, hot cam stage two, and I ran around with those for a while. And yeah, that's a lot of tire. When you stack it, it would dump all the oil out because it would go over center. So yeah, that was anyways, got rid of those. <laughs> that was that was a long time ago. What else? What do we need? What are we missing? Besides plastics that fit. His bike's done. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's not a ton else we can do, I guess, without digging more into the motors. Significant changes and improvements require significant changes. Yeah. What? The opposite of what you need. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Remove material. Get rid of the aluminum tank, put a plastic one. Right. Um, what do you cut out of them? Like... The full length skid plate I have? This, this, oh. this. Jeez. The cross tubes down here, the bottom mount. The chassis twist though, don't they? Eh, I mean, if you're... <laughs> Well, I figured you had big power, so like when it torques it, no? Enough? Well, it's the thing that's all your torque is going to be from your sprocket on your engine back. You're never going to put the torque up there. Well, I was just thinking where the motor's mounted, like because the motor's going to rock when it does that, and if you take out the cross tubes, but I mean, it, it I was just curious. Be this way and not yeah. like that. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. That would say those are heavy. Tie arms. Ooh. Some tie A arms would be cool. But I wouldn't have heavy shocks on my tie A arms. I mean, I'd have to do like Marvin Shaw's or whatever. Yeah, some basic floats. Or floats. I, I used to run the, the Gen 3 floats, the Kashima ones, but they were the full top and bottom the ones. That, yeah, the Evals. But I kept 
they would dry out was my issue. Like the servicing interval was, I didn't like it. So I went back to springs. I had those for years. I had two sets of floats, but you don't ride all, cause we only really ride from like what? Like October to like March. And then I would just put the bike up basically for the year and maybe one trip for Idaho. You don't have to worry about things drying out in Oregon. Yeah, it's probably true. <laughs> Yeah, here it's just so dang dry, but lighter swing arm probably, not a chromoly. That sounds expensive. <laughs> Titan does anybody make a titanium exhaust for him? Um probably like half and half or something. Yeah. Nothing with any power. I don't know. Okay. We'll see, man. All right.